Hello, one and all, this is Winnipeg Tacos. Welcome back to Let's Play Open XCOM. When we last left off, we were on a UFO mission. I can't remember if this was a grounded UFO mission or a shot down UFO mission, but in either instance, it is a UFO mission. And unfortunately, we do not have any smoke grenades with this team. So, we are gonna have to just deal with being seen right out of the gate. We are pretty much in a perfect corner. I mean, it's not completely perfect, but it's pretty dang gum close, so that's good at least. Put that there. Uh, throw one over here. Look this way, and then crouch. Makes you ever that harder to hit. We'll know soon enough if the enemies have psionics, because we should be visible here soon. No psionics cast on us yet. I don't believe either of these rookies should have any flares left to throw. Haka, why don't you come over here? And throw one all the way down here. Close enough. And then you Weary Mahi? Weary Weary? I don't know how to pronounce that. Genuinely don't. Throw one down here if you can. Okay. Interesting so far, I guess. Fitz, I want you to come over here and shoot this wall. Good. And then step out of the way. Gnarl, come into here. John McLean can come this way. Richard B. Riddick can come this way, and then we can have the rest of them just move towards the front of the vessel. Four people with flying suits in this team. I've only just now realized Duke Nukem is one of the ones with a jetpack, and that is perfect. I didn't plan that, but couldn't have couldn't have gone better. Still no sign of the aliens. Here, whole lot of nothing. Interesting and also terrifying. Okay, weary. Throw a light source this way. Not seeing anything. Lane, you come over this way. I know I'm throwing lots and lots of electro flares. It's only because I really want to make sure there's not an alien standing like right in front of us and we just can't see it because it's dark. Well, we have found the UFO. That's a start. And we have found an alien. That is a sectoid, I think. Hard to tell. 
Pretty sure that's a sectoid. Yeah, it's a sectoid, and it's a dentoid as well. Cool. Alright. I don't even know how to say that name, Achilles. Let's move Haka forward. You can come over there, Fitz. And turn this way. The rest of you pile out. GLaDOS, you can go against that wall and pretty much stay there. Uh, don't reserve for time <laughs> for a snapshot. Not with a blaster bomb, please. And then I want you four to head over this way. Because that's where the UFO is. And the UFO is where we're going to need the height. It's odd to see lives the longest sometimes. Uh-oh. I know some of these people have died and, I, and I've voted to save them, but not all of them. John McClane is dead. Well, that was genuinely sad. Killed by a single shot, because power armor is... Sometimes it's like, why do we even bother wearing it? GLaDOS, I saw two of them, so why don't you just resolve this? Hopefully this doesn't kill both of them. Uh, there we are. I was wondering how I went backwards. I don't actually want it to miss. I don't think it detonates in midair. That was actually a miss. But it still got the both of them. So, all's well that ends well. Whoops. Miri, or Weary, grab the body. Some of it we can let go. But the body we have to grab. Because we can't afford to lose that power armor. Gnarl, go with him. Richard, do you have another flare? You do. Goody, goody, goody. Can you get it over here? Yes, you can. Dang, Richard. Quite the arm. Haka has one more. Where did I put it? Oh, no, I just switched characters, that's all. Because there's still a big old pocket of the darkness and a sectoid! Well! That's why we throw! Guys, move forward. Oh, no, nope, that was Duke. I didn't mean for Duke to move forward on the ground. Jocko? I'm really bad with these names. Alright, Jack. You're gonna go this way. You're gonna take to the skies. Faith, you're going to take the disguise, too. And Sin will take the disguise this way. Of 
Gladys will just stay where she is, and Blue Minion can head this way. Oof, I think somebody got hit. Duke Nukem has been killed. That one is quite sad, actually. Killed by a sectoid. I am astonishingly offended. But, I will allow it. Grab the med kit if you can. Next turn, you'll have to grab poor Duke. All because I didn't have Duke take to the air when I should have. I'm quite sad now, actually. Whoa, 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 whoa. You should be saving. That other soldier didn't. That other soldier is probably going to die. Neither of you got hurt, did you? Okay. Just checking. Let's cover lots of ground here. Actually, gonna have Jack go this way. That bot is most certainly on fire. This must be this must have been a grounded UFO to answer my earlier question, because it's definitely not blown up. Okay. look like there's any aliens but that doesn't mean there aren't any Riri is gonna be moving slower and slower every turn I haven't saved once this mission I really should be I'm losing some of my better soldiers. I lost a squatty and poor, poor Duke. Alas, Duke, we will always hail to the king. But nothing lasts forever. Do you have any electro flares? No, you don't. We are operating in the dark here. Sin, throw one of yours. We. Oui. Start catching up. Faith, throw one of yours. Over there, that should do. And then you also start catching up. Richard has... Richard has already moved this turn. You just stay where you are. Aka, come this way. I moved you guys? No. It's a whole new turn. You know what? We get the electro flares back at the end of the mission. Okay, that corner is clear. Just checking. Gnarl. We need some light over there. Wait, you don't have enough time units to throw? You have enough time units for a snapshot, but not to throw? Odd. 
Yeah, same with you. You're gonna be the same way. You guys have really cheap snapshots. <laughs> That's a compliment. Alright. Riddick, you're the first one on the door. Faith, come over here. Okay. It's clear. So just get behind him. I want you to come over here and check this window. It's the great thing about somebody who can fly. Check around the corner. That way. Pretty sure that building is clear, but paranoia is the best policy. Not gonna start catching up. We're not gonna enter this UFO from above. We don't want to risk blowing anything up because it's only a one story, so if we try to explode the outside a bit, we could hit the uh, Illyrium, which would be bad. Mostly because we want that Illyrium. Uh, make sure you're saving for snapshots. Because this area is pretty dang gum dark. And there could be an alien anywhere. Okay. Pretty mellow mission, even though we've still lost two soldiers. Let's go ahead and light this area up. I think we're clear. Except for the inside of the UFO. So, let's start the preparation phase. Anything over there? No. Actually screwed that up. I have to remember, I can't just sit in there because they will get the ability to shoot me before I get to shoot them if I do that. There's one. That was a stun bomb launcher. I didn't think he'd get to fire, but I'm glad he only fired a stun bomb launcher. It does nothing to us. We are made of sterner stuff. Sometimes. If that had been a plasma gun, we'd probably be dead. Don't you wish there was an alien type in this game that pretty much didn't one-hit you? Like, other than, I guess, the chrysalid, but the chrysalid has so many action points it's gonna attack you more than once anyways. Like, let's be honest. I can keep this up all day. Up oh, there you are. Thank you. And there's still another one running around somewhere. Okay. Nothing yet. Just know there's like one more in there. There he is. Should be able to shoot him from here. Yes, we can. He's alive. Yes. And you managed to live. So credit for that. Riddick. Dead and we go home. And our rating is just okay because we lost two operatives. We have lost two electro flares because we didn't pick them up from the corpses. John McLean, the squatty, with nine kills, is dead. Duke Nukem, the sergeant, with twelve, is also dead. 
Ev is heading towards our American base. Why does our American base not have smoke in it? Let's fix that. Like, now-ish, please. Well, let me get back, folks. More Open XCOM. Thank you all for watching. This is one of Madako's signing off, and let us mourn the loss of the king. I will see you all later. Thanks for watching. Take care, and bye-bye.